Hello, synthesizer enthusiasts! Uh, this is the new Barton Musical Circuits uh, envelope follower module. Um, I, as you can see, it's right next to my guitar input module, which has an envelope follower built into it. Um, and this is a, a kind of a more advanced uh, circuit for envelope following. If you're unfamiliar with envelope following, it is extracting like the volume out of a um, an audio signal and turning that into a voltage. Uh, so you would use the volume of your guitar to control your synthesizer, um, which is the patch I'm doing today, but obviously it has uh, a lot more uses than that. And uh, I've tested this with a, a drum machine as well, um, so it's it's not a, a guitar-only kind of thing. Um, but, uh, th yeah, like I said, this is a more advanced version. Uh, this just takes the signal and rectifies it and then filters it a little bit. This takes the signal, rectifies it, and then uh, samples it a, with a very high-speed... Uh, what's called a track and hold circuit. It's always sampling the highest voltage of each peak of the waveform. Uh, and it's always going to be 180 degrees out of phase with the waveform changes. Like it's when the, it goes negative, that's when it's updating the voltage from the sampler to the output. Um, and on, on the way of doing that, we have this smooth knob here, uh, which that adds a little bit of filtering uh, to this sample. Uh, so you get some of the more classic, um, like, synth guitar kind of sounds where it's all kind of smoothed out. Uh, and then it also has a gate output here where uh, turning this knob to the right uh, increases the sensitivity to it. And uh, I thought I would just play uh, a little bit of guitar to, to show you, to try and show like the sensitivity of it. Uh, it has a much kind of, you can get like a pretty fast response that's uh, I think a little more sensitive than a traditional envelope follower. Um, oh, and I should also say that the input here uh, the input knob, it is uh, attenuating a signal before an amplifier. So if you don't have the guitar input module and you're trying to extract envelopes, you can still uh, input something with a non-synth level signal and be able to amplify it up to uh, uh, synth level signals. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just like pick really softly. Um, so that was just kind of a, a little example of dynamics. Um, <laughs> it's it's always a little awkward with trying to show that stuff in here, but just because it's uh, my audio is not great on these recordings. Um, but uh, yeah, and this is uh, I'll just play a little guitar for the rest of the video. Uh, I've been really happy with how this plays. Uh, uh, the patch that I've got set up here is the audio input. Aud sorry, audio output from my guitar input module. Uh, goes to the input of the envelope follower, and then I'm taking the square wave out to the synchronize in of my VCO, and then the output here is controlling a VCA, um, and yeah, I'll, here we go.